Hey YouTube, Mike here. How you doing? Alright, today's Renai video is going to be on um, the igniter and the flame rods. Um, one of the problems uh, that you could have is that the flame rods have carbon buildup and that would be part of a code 12. Now there is many other things that is associated with a code 12 but what we have found is that either the flame rods or the igniter has some buildup on it or there's something within the burner. So what I'm going to show you is the procedures for removing the flame rods and checking them and what you would need to clean them. All right, first thing of course is you want to unplug the unit. Always unplug the unit from the electrical source or shut off the switch. With this you can know it's off. If you shut off the switch just make sure there's no power to it. Okay of course remove the front which you already did. Again, it's very good to have one of these magnetic holders to keep the screws in. What you want to do now, this unit is a 94, it's a new style unit. This has two sensors, two flame sensors and one igniter. You're going to have some that are going to just have one sensor and one igniter, but the procedure is still the same. With this, you're going to remove both wires, mount it here onto the burner plate. You're going to see it's going to have a Y for yellow and an R for red. So no matter what you do, mix them up tuck them in here, you're always going to know where it's going to go. And then of course you're going to remove your igniter cable and get it out of the way. Now you want to remove in this case five screws. Keep this last one here in for the last screw in. Hold these in, remove the last screw, And now you're going to remove the whole assembly. And that's how they look. The flame rods are facing the left, the igniter is facing straight down. Now for this purpose, you know, you don't always have a garbage pail with a piece of wood on top of it. You're going to remove the two flame rods and the rubber piece and the igniter there is this gasket be careful not to break it always have an extra one you'll find an extra one you can grab extra but there is extra inside of the flame rod um, uh, spare parts bag now you want to inspect your igniter take a look at it see what you have of course there is a little bit of a build up on it what you want to use and only use is a piece of scotch bright pad. I keep it inside of my spare pots box. And all you want to do is pull nice and steadily off. Don't use a knife, don't use a screwdriver, don't use a file, don't use any chemical, don't, just a piece of scotch bright. Now, you cleaned off the igniter. Now the flame rods. Second flame rod. Okay, now you want to do, a, you can do a visual inspection of the burner plate by going right through the actual hole. And there's a, a viewport and you can actually look through the uh, one or two, depending on what model you have, of where the um, flame uh, sensor is. Take a look at the burner. See if there's any debris on top of the burner. If the burners look clean, reassemble. Now, there's a pattern on how it goes on. As you can see, you have a notch, an upper and a lower. You want to align it that way. Okay, now remember it's going in like, excuse me, that. So what you want to do is you want to take your igniter first, put it in, make sure it's facing down. Put in your first flame rod, your second flame rod, so that they're sitting into like that recess very easily, gently push it in. 
find that first screw and you want to go back and put that screw in first. That's what I found that holds it in the best. Ooh, ooh. Little problem there. There you go. And see it holds it in nicely. And you, want, you can put this other one in. Now I use a drill. I know the torque on it, but I don't go all the way down with it. Get your fourth screw. Then go about with your screwdriver. Just snug. Then find your of course your rubber boot goes on, then your igniter. Now this tape, that, that's the tape that holds the igniter, it's pretty good. I've always kept reusing it. Then pull out your, your two sensors. Of course again, look for the red and the yellow. Pan in here. Mm -hmm. You're going to see there's a Y and you're going to see there's an RD. Just put your two sensors back on. And power the unit back up. Turn it on and see if it fires. Okay, um, we're going to be, this, there's going to be a, probably about five videos on this alone, the Code 12. This is the first step that you would do to check it to see if that's the first problem. The next would be we're going to remove the actual um, orifice burner plate and remove the um, actual burner assembly itself and how to blow it out. Okay, YouTube, I hope this video was informative and I really appreciate all of the comments and um, I am very glad that I have helped so many years out there with your tankless heaters and your installs. And there'll be plenty more videos to come. Okay? If you guys want to email me with a question, I will provide my email in the description below. And feel free to email me any question and I will answer it. And we, will all, we also could talk to each other on the phone. Okay, YouTube? If you like this, please subscribe, comment, and like. And I'll see you on the next Renai video. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.